Hey guys, this is Scotty Hobbs. This is a quick follow-up video to my Karakatonus. I'm making these videos because, you know, just like when I found out I had this Karakatonus, I was searching on YouTube and trying to figure out what it was, what I could do to treat it. And so it's a follow-up video to my procedure that I had done. Karakatonus is a degenerative disease of the cornea. So if you haven't watched the first video or the right after the surgery video, you can go back and find those. But it's been a month since I've had my collagen cross-linking procedure done. If you don't know what that is, you can go back and watch my collagen uh, cross-linking video. But it's been a month since I've had the procedure done on my eye. So my right eye had a worst case of um, keratoconus, and so you only do a procedure at one eye at a time because um, I wouldn't be able to see, <laughs> you know, at all if I did both eyes at the same time. So what I have is, uh, it's been a month, and before the procedure, they do some screening on your eye to make sure that you qualify, that your eye is stable enough to do the pr procedure. And what happened was, before my vision was correctable, up to a 2060. So, you know, when you're sitting in the, the office there, and the doctor is checking your eye, and they're like, this one or this one. You know, as far as they could correct my vision with keratoconus at that point was to a 2060. So it's been a month since the procedure. Everything's healing up well. I have slight, uh, my eye pressure is slightly high. So I, I'm on another um, drop that is a steroid. It's just a little less powerful steroid than I was using before to reduce the swelling. Yeah, you know, not the swelling, the pressure in my eye. There's just a tiny bit of swelling still in my eye. But the good news so far from this procedure of collagen crosslinking is that my vision yesterday was corrected up to a 2030. So a major improvement from when I first went in. So I'm I can put my contact back in back in now. I haven't been wearing a contact in my right eye since uh, like a month before the procedure. But you know I can actually I could go out and get a contact lens, get fitted for a prescription, and see pretty good out of my eye. At least you know at twenty thirty. But uh, the the thing is about that is my eye is constantly changing still. So. It's going to be about five more months before I should really get fitted for a contact lens and let my eye, you know, let the swelling reduce, the pressure go away and completely heal. And then I should be able to see fairly good out of my right eye. My eye should be stable. Um, the, the collagen crosslinking is done to stabilize that disease so that it's not degenerating anymore. So it's a good update. It's been a month since uh, collagen crosslinking. I'm doing it at the Moran Eye Center with Dr. Mifflin up in uh, Salt Lake City. So extremely happy with the results so far. They're great up there. Um, it's a great office, a great doctor, a great staff, and uh, answers. they answer all my questions and I'm, I'm feeling great. So um, another five months or so uh, should be all the way healed and then hopefully we'll get the left eye done. So that is my update on collagen um, on the collagen cross-linking for keratoconus. So if you have questions about it or my experience about it and want me to expound more, you can email me. I'll put the email below. Uh, I'll help you out the best I can. All right, see you guys later.